All right, Christina, thanks. Time now for non Friday Flicks. The timeless music of Queen is celebrated in the new movie, Bohemian Rhapsody. It's a foot-stomping celebration of the band, their music, and their extraordinary lead singer, Freddie Mercury. The film chronicles their rise to fame through their big struggles and incredible successes. CBS4's Lisa Petrillo sat down with the men who portray them on the big screen, and each said they didn't take one minute of their experience playing these men for granted. Bohemian Rhapsody is the ultimate sing-along, anthems of the 70s and 80s that still maintain the test of time. At the helm, Freddie Mercury, lead singer of Queen, a band that was groundbreaking, cross-generational, multicultural, and it became a global phenomenon. Cast in the lead as Freddie Mercury, Emmy Award-winning Rami Malek. All right! And did he just come into your body when you started this movie, and the, just the mannerisms, do you study him? How did that process There's this go? joy and mischief to him. There's this, you know, there's this childishness to him, but he is, he's also wry and sly, and he's kind of all of the things you, you want to hang out with, with <laughs> uh, when you think of, I'm going out for a great night with that human being. Rami worked with a movement coach, stripping down every inch of Mercury's performance style, his magnetism, and his way around the stage. The ma- did you have a prosthetic? How did that, the, his mouth, your uh, teeth? How did yes, you? I had, that was, before the film was even financed or greenlit, I asked our producers, I said, just get me the teeth as early as possible. Because, to learn how to. Yeah, because that was going to be not only a task talking like him, but singing with those in. And, uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I did that because by the end of the film, I almost felt naked when I didn't have them in. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Starring alongside Rami in the band is Willem Lee as guitarist Brian May and Joe Mazzello on bass as John Deacon. All had to learn how to play their instruments and play them well. So let's talk about your characters really quick. I mean, big shoes to fill. These guys are around, uh, alive. Yeah, I mean, it's intimidating. It's certainly intimidating because you want to do it justice. You want to, um, you know, uh, do their story justice, but actually it's a good uh, focuser of the mind. Uh -huh. It uh, Every time you get a little bit overwhelmed, it really just makes you turn to work harder. But there truly was a moment when we were doing Live Aid and we were running the whole thing all the way through the entire 20 minute set, Radio Gaga, I totally lost myself. I was just like, I can't believe I'm doing this. Like, <laughs> this is such a privilege. <laughs> We'd be doing these live sets, and we still had an audience out there. And in true Freddie nature, I was like, well, I have to keep them entertained. So I would go from you know, singing and prancing across the stage as we were finishing a song to just ad-libbing with them, a lot of which sometimes you know, makes the film. Feeling the vibe. Yeah, feeling it. Bohemian Rhapsody opens in theaters November 1st. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS4 News.